Hi everyone, we are gonna create today a design um, which is like this flower and the materials are a canvas 8 by 8 inches and vinyl and this is the design so the design that we are gonna get at the end so what I did is I typed flower clipper black and white and I grabbed this one and then I went to the website spiralberry.com and then what, what you have to do is select the image that you want to use uh, and then you can uh, either decrease or um, increase the size for my flower is good the way it is then you click here and automatically you get the spiral effect then you can decide uh, slide this section here and it will depend of how big you make um, your, your design um, for the one I'm gonna make it will be idea between kind of close to scale and lightness um, to make sure the cuts are gonna be correct however I'm gonna leave it uh, all the way up and see how, how it looks and then I'm gonna select the black and white So you can see here how the changes work and this will be probably the ideal for the size that I'm going to make so I will make both of them and then I will show you the results and then once you click it you can download it and it will go automatically to to your download folder so now I'm going to design space and I'm gonna open a new window I don't want to lose this one because I want to show you the difference between one and the other one. So I'm gonna create a new project and I'm gonna upload uh, the one that I just created Once you select it, you have to click on complex and then you have to uh, click on the white section to remove the background and if you click preview, you can kind of see how the, the spiral is going to look like and then make sure you select cut image and then insert. Now I'm gonna select my image and insert image. And then uh, change the size. Uh, for my canvas, I'm gonna do it uh, 7 by 7 inches so I have some space around. So now here's my spiral already and now I'm just going to select the, the flower um, as image previously uploaded because I'm going to create the final pieces that are going to have color to go along with the spiral. You can see that it doesn't fit right away so I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger to make sure it fits or match the shape of the spiral so then um, once I have the size I can start working with this image for the piece the additional pieces that I'm gonna create So the first thing that I'm going to make is I'm going to create a circle for the center of the flower um, because I want it to be or have a different color and you can kind of estimate the size um, as long as cover the area that you want to use for it. Let me in, let me go on 
Then I'm gonna change the color to orange. This is supposed to be more like brown, but I'm gonna do it orange. Uh, and then with the other piece, I'm gonna um, hide all the contours to have a piece like this, and I'm gonna change it to yellow. Uh, so now we can see that this piece is a little bit, it has some sections that are uh, above um, the spiral. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, remove those sections. And to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another circle. It's gonna have seven by seven inches, it's the same as my spiral. And just to make sure it's right, I'm just gonna put it on top of it to see if it's exactly the right size. And then I have to bring the yellow one. I'm gonna select both the yellow and the circle uh, in alignment, horizontal and vertically. And then I'm going to select the slide. And I'm going to delete this pieces that I don't need anymore. And I'm just going to keep this one and just change the color to yellow. So now I'm going to put the three pieces together to make sure uh, they have the right size in everything else. And now I can see the result. I'm just gonna align them again just to double check that they are correct. And now I have my flower uh, ready to make the cuts. So you can see here if I change it to brown, it's kind of you know, kind of like a sad color. That's what I wanted to use orange instead. <laughs> breaking the rules with the colors here okay so this is the first one that I made and the one and if we go here it's kind of hard to see on the video but uh, it's very uh, obvious that there is a difference with the lines so this is when you can kind of make a decision to either go ahead and make the cuts or um, Create the spiral again uh, to make sure the cuts are going to be correct. So now I'm just going to move this a little bit lower and I'm going to probably hide this one since I'm not going to use it right now. Okay, so I'm going to create uh, these little squares that are going to be mirror reference to put the vinyl pieces together um, for the yellow one and the, the spiral by itself. Uh, that way I can make sure that they are exactly aligned when I place them one on top of the other one. And I have to create these squares uh, with the range that this image is going to have. I don't want it to have it outside, otherwise I'm going to use more vinyl than the one that I, I can actually use without problem. So if I click, I can see that the squares are exactly inside of, of the entire square. And I'm just going to align them to make sure that they are both in the same area.
Okay, so um, just moving this one. Uh, I'm gonna hide it now. <laughs> Didn't do it before. And then with this one, I'm gonna group it and create a copy. And what I want to do here is I want to create those reference uh, exactly the same from one piece to the other one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna weld this with the yellow one. So I have one piece. And then with the with the other one, I'm gonna ungroup it and remove the two extra pieces that go along with this part. Uh, except for the orange, I, I still need that. And now I have this piece ready to. And now I'm just gonna put them together the way the way they were. Um, just to have the design nice and ready to go. So now I'm gonna save it. Uh, I click save as because I previously saved it and um, so I'm going to save it as to keep this one instead the one I made before or I saved it. So now I can just go ahead and kind of see all the pieces that I'm going to need and then I can go ahead and start cutting my pieces with my tree cut. So remember to change the settings to vinyl. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to cut uh, like if it's cars. So, I have an Explorer Air 2, so I have to use the dial in to change SIM. Okay, here we go. So, I'm placing the vinyl here, and um, to make sure it stick with the map, I use a, just a regular piece of paper. And use this to the to the Cricut tool to make sure that um, I don't scratch the vinyl with the tool, the Cricut tool. Now it's time to cut. Okay, so now I'm removing the vinyl and I had to, this is actually the, it's number three that I'm <laughs> uh, removing because with the first one that I made, the lines were not perfect and I will show you in a little bit. Um, and also I created another one with the opposite uh, lines removed and I will show you as well so you can see the another design that you can create um, but this is the one that I'm gonna use on the canvas so this area right here is kind of uh, sensitive compared to the rest so I kind of had to put my, my uh, 
thumb on top to make sure the lines are not gonna separate from the uh, ba the bottom um, before I remove everything here and definitely it's, it's good to know that the, it's not um, a good idea to create a design very small because these lines will be very hard to make them with your grid look how pretty it looks so far so now I have these other two pieces and the center so here I have my canvas and what I'm gonna do is um, so this is the one that I mentioned it so you can see it right here it didn't cut the lines very well so I have to um, do it again this one looks much much better okay so now I'm gonna start attaching the first piece which is the yellow one to my canvas Yeah, I'm gonna cut just a couple sections of the very top um, to start placing this that way I can make sure that uh, it's center or is in the place that I want it to be and then I um, have to remove this carefully because sometimes it's kind of hard to make it stick um, to the canvas material and also I want to make sure that my reference first is in the, world, in the place that they should be Now I'm gonna uh, attach my spiral. But before I attach it to the yellow section, I have to attach the circle to this part. So I'm gonna just cut this excess that I have and just to kind of make sure that where it should be. And I'm gonna press here so I can make sure it's attached to my spiral. And now my reference squares are gonna help me to place it exactly where it should be. pressing in the back um, so I make sure it's completely uh, attached to the canvas and this corner this area this area could be the one that we need to make be careful um, just to make sure it's, it's gonna stay uh, attached to the canvas the same with the center as the center has the thin lines Look how pretty is this flower looking so far. I'm just gonna keep this for another frame. So I'm just gonna press the back again. And I see kind of like a bubbles in the center, but it's just a matter of um, adjust it and press a little bit more with the Cricut tool or anything else that you can think that can help you to press so it stays flat so you can see that looks very nice um, and the colors give uh, an extra nice look to the spiral
pressing a little bit more here. And here you go. And this is the way, other way that I was talking about. So what I did here is I removed the opposite lines and it's filling all these faces inside and the shapes are the ones that look white. So that's another cool idea to use it too if you would like to. So now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a... Uh, some text on top um, this is definitely optional um, but I kind of wanted to add something else uh, so the text says hello spring and um, this is pretty much it so I hope you guys like this video and i will see you on my next one have a good one